what's happening I got me here a paint can and here's the paint lid I got me this hole here right I'm gonna take this put this in here like this okay I'm gonna take this little vat here after I wash it out I'm gonna set it down in here I'm gonna flip this bucket with the top on it right here all right I'm gonna take this bucket put the top on right it's got two little holes here in the in the front right I'm gonna flip it upside down set it on this and I'm gonna put some clay around it to hold it in place I'm gonna fill in the sides here with this dirt and then I'm gonna build a fire around it and then cook this and with it all with it all with it all sealed in like that what it's gonna do I'm gonna take this bark like this and I'm gonna bust all this down and the little frags and I'm gonna pack this sucker as full tight as I can get it okay I'm gonna try to use the more I'll save my better pieces for other crafts and stuff right but basically basically freaking I'm gonna try I'm gonna make some birch oil which you can use as lamp oil I mean I already got a batch but I'm gonna uh, get some more freaking uh I'm gonna test it out yeah anyway freaking uh so well, let me see if I can set this up okay. I'm gonna try to get this inner bark out too this wet bark that really doesn't have oil in it if anything, all that will do is just soak up the oil as it's dripping. So, I'm trying to get just bark. Okay, I'm gonna just get it, bust it down in little pieces. This stuff has an oil in it, dude, that will light even when it's wet. Like, this is the awesomest kindling. I mean, it's hard to get it going. You need actually flame. But once you get flame going, it, it, it goes. It goes hot and heavy. You can also see that it lets off a black smoke. Black smoke means that there's oil in it. I mean, it's not petroleum, but it's... I mean, that's basically what petroleum is. It's old plant material that has sat under the ground for a long time and basically the same thing that I'm doing here with this can is done chemically with pressure and, and heat because from decomposition makes a sort of chemical heat okay so it's related it's not the same but it is related it's similar so there's more than one way to skin a catfish as the old saying goes so this is a way to artificially bring about those conditions quicker Anyway, it's, it's, this is only like maybe the third batch I ever made. Maybe the first batch I ever made. Combusted on me. I didn't have it sealed up good enough. So, uh, well my, my yield wasn't that great. But the second batch yield was pretty freaking awesome. So, this is the third batch. So, you know, I'm going to try to improve on the last time where I went wrong. Yeah, that inner bark is just wet, dude. It's just seem like it's suitable for the task we're trying to do here. I mean, yeah, it would be filler. I'm just trying to get as much just bark as possible. Man, I hope I even have enough. This is freaking eating this stuff up quick. Not quite all the way there yet, but look, I'm getting there. Anyway, I'm going to cut this one off now, and I'll uh, keep you posted uh, as I uh, proceed further. But you get the gist of it, all right? Anyway, you know, happy uh, hunting and experimenting. Peace.